okay, here's the second part of the video, like the other half. Um, with me actually wearing the gaff, I'm going to show what it looks like. Wearing pants, the underwear over the gaff, and just the gaff itself. Then I'll show the other color at next. So I barely like put it on and um, I noticed a huge difference. It fits and it's talking better than the old ones. So and it doesn't seem like I'm having much issues so far and because the way it is compared to those other ones it's working better so this is what it looks like in just pants so this is what it looks like so this is from the front you can see on the front that's what it looks like pants are pulled up all the way so that's what it looks like in the front kind of at the sides and here's what it looks like from the back from the back and this is what it actually looks like with just the underwear on over it so that's what it looks like and these are bikinis the underwear so in the front you can see that sides kind of you can see that and this is what it looks like from the back you can see um that it's going to um yeah what it looks like and what it looks like without the underwear on. So here's the front, kind of like the sides. And if you're not comfortable seeing butt cheeks, I suggest skip past this part. And this is what it looks like from the back. How it looks. So that's what the white one looks like. And I do suggest if you get swimwear from a regular store to um, wear one of these kinds of gaffs with it, just get one that won't show the gaff or anything. And I, that would help with being able to wear stuff from a store without having to have so many issues. So that can help. So. That's one of my suggestions with this style of a gaff. Well, it can also be used with instead of just wearing regular underwear over it from the store. It's not transgender related. Okay, this is what it looks like in the pink color. This is what it looks like wearing pants. As you can see from the front. It looks like um, sides a little bit the back what it looks like what it looks like with just the underwear itself Yeah, this is what it looks like with just the underwear from the front. You can see the side, the other side, kind of, and the back. What it looks like. What it looks like without the underwear what it looks like without the underwear from the front side it's a little bit 
Let's see. And the back. And if you're not comfortable with butt cheeks, <laughs> that's what it looks like in the back. That's what it looks like in the back. So, <laughs> that's what it um, looks like, the replacement ones they've sent, and so far, they're 100% better than the other ones. I can say 100% better, the replacement ones they sent, and I'm so happy they sent the replacement ones because... I ended up not using those other ones because they weren't fitting right. It was uncomfortable and a, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So other than that, um, I want to make a big, huge suggestion um, for all you transgendered individuals out there or people in, dressed in drag or anything like that. Um, I suggest use these gaps. You can use them as like whatever method you do for tucking or for using another product or another brand of underwear that's meant for tucking. Like my other tucking videos, um, other products I've reviewed, stuff like that. I suggest you can still use these ones. Um, with underwear, regular underwear from the store. That's how I suggest if you want to wear regular underwear from the store, wear one of these type of gaffs. Um, and that will help. So you can wear those. Then also if you want to wear, if you found like cute swimwear from the store, like a regular store, that, and you want to wear that, I suggest one well, of these kind of gaps with it and that will help because um, the regular store they don't have stuff for transgender specific so if you want to wear those then I say yes go ahead and do that but if you're using another method of tucking like one of the other kind of products that's out there like my other review videos of that other product. I'm not going to mention it here. Um, and I suggest take this these gaps from Janet's closet if you use another method of tucking. It, or if you don't want to wear a thong version at the time. You just want to wear a regular pair of underwear suggest like those other review videos but I suggest also get these they're worth it and use them as a backup um get like a purse pouch like one of those little mini bags that's meant to be put in your purse and I suggest make like a kit or something for like stuff you may need and put one of these gaps in there for an emergency like if something happens and you need something to tuck immediately because something if something goes wrong or something happens with another product you're wearing something happens and it like rips or something or if your tuck isn't doing what it's supposed to and it comes yeah Use the, you can use these as a backup also to help with that and you can also use these like everyday use um, and I suggest that's what I suggest for these kinds like the thong style to be able to wear swimwear regular uh, like regular swimmer from the store regular underwear from the store or as a backup in case when your your method that you've been using or something the way you've been tugging fails for some weird reason 
then you have this as a backup. You can quickly go to the nearest restroom, change it, and you can just go on your day and without having any worries. So that's my biggest suggestion. Use them as a backup. And I so far I'm actually liking um the replacement ones. I know I may have said a little bit like um they don't tug as well or at right. That's because I didn't have the correct ones. Ones that yeah, but now these are the correct ones, so I take back what I said about those on my other videos. If you see my other videos, then you've seen this one. I take back a little bit what I said um, about not tucking quite right. Because these ones, the replacement ones, are tucking the way it's supposed to. So, other than that, I'm happy with the replacement ones. So, other than that, just comment, rate, like thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And when you subscribe, or if you're already subscribed and you're not getting notifications, click that bell next to the subscribe button. And yeah, you'll get the notifications. So, um, and please comment. Because I really want you to comment on these videos because we need to spark up a conversation about tucking because there's not real much conversations about tucking and um, things like that. So we can help others out there like hermaphrodites, transgendered individuals, cross-dressers, drag queens um, to help the communities out there and to help further the education about these things and what we have to do on a daily basis just to wear clothing for those of us who haven't had the surgery because I want to spark up conversations about these things so please 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 comment ask questions if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them so yeah the links will be down in the description to the Janet's Closet and to my other video, the first part of this video on my other channel. The link will be down there as well.